I'm going to talk about VETSIM. VETSIM stands for Virtual Air Traffic Simulation Network. VETSIM consists of real people who will uh, take up the role of ATC, of air traffic controllers. Uh, you will actually talk to real trainees for air traffic control towers who will help you as a simulator gamer to fly a route from point A to point B. In order to be able to talk to ATC in VETSIM, you will need a software utility which is called VPILOT. See the link in the description below. And VPILOT is depicted here. Now, when you first start to use VETSIM, you will have to register on the VETSIM network and enter your uh, VETSIM ID in VPILOT. You can do this in settings where you enter your VETSIM ID and your VETSIM password. Also specify your full name and your home airport. My home airport is Echo Bravo Bravo Romeo, which is actually Brussels uh, Airport. Also important, uh, when you are going to tune into a frequency of ATC, be it ground or tower or clearance delivery or what, what, whichever you want to talk to, you will need to have a button mapped on your keyboard or on your game console, uh, uh, controller uh, that allows you to push that button and to speak to ATC. So on the push to talk uh, tab here, uh, make sure you have a button of a controller that you can push to talk to ATC. Now, in order to fly on the VETSIM network, VETSIM ATC will have to know your flight plan. We will actually pre-file our flight plan on the VETSIM website so that they know which route we intend to fly. Now you may wonder, if you load VPILOT, will the flight plan also be loaded in Flight Simulator in the flight computer? It is in the MCDU. Well, actually it will not be loaded in the MCDU. So normally, when you open up VPILOT and are in the cockpit, you will still have to manually enter the departure airport, the arrival airport, and uh, the SID and the STAR and the waypoints between them in the MCDU. Now to avoid this, this tutorial is going to focus how you can file a flight plan on VATSIM and at the same time have the flight plan imported from Navigraph into your flight computer. Before you can open up VPILOT in your cockpit and tune in to ATC of VATSIM, uh, there is one important step to do and that is to pre-file our flight plan so that the VATSIM ATC controllers will know what is our flight plan of the day. So I will come back to what we will use for a call sign but go through the other fields uh, quickly. We are going to fly instrument flight rules. Our flight uh, aircraft type is a Airbus 320. Uh, wake category is actually if we are uh, very loaded or uh, light, so I will put it to, to light. The equipment code is important. You can copy it from here if you fly a Airbus 320. Uh, it's actually a code that indicates what kind of equipment. Is it GPS enabled? Is it uh, ILS enabled that you have in your aircraft? The transponder code, uh, similarly, uh, you can use for the Airbus the letter L. The departure airport, uh, as you can see, I have entered the uh, ICAO code of uh, Manchester, uh, which can be seen here. It's uh, Echo Golf Charlie Charlie. And for uh, the uh, arrival code, I have entered the one of Amsterdam, just as we planned in Navigraph. It's Echo Hotel Alpha Ma Mike. Um, off block is the time that we expect to ask the pushback at uh, the gate. Altitude speaks for itself, 30,000 feet. Airspeed, 420 knots. 
Uh, I have entered an alternate airport, which is the ICAO code for Brussels Airport. And route time, uh, we expect to fly for one hour and 30 minutes. And fuel endurance, that's the remaining fuel we have after our flight. Uh, so we could uh, fly for another 30 minutes. This will allow uh, ATC to know that, uh, well, when it becomes urgent to uh, land. Now, for the call sign, that is important. The call sign um, has to be uh, two alphanumeric uh, numbers and followed by uh, one up to uh, four numeric numbers. Now, the call sign has to be for your uh, air company uh, type. I have uh, a page here where you can look it up. I will put a link in the description. Now, if I choose my airline, which is Brussels Airlines, and I look it up, then I will see that the call sign for Brussels Airline is, let me have a look, is here it is the ICAO code it's bell so going back to my pre-filing my uh, call sign will be bell followed by a couple of digits and i will put in 754 now atc will actually speak to you and uh, call out bell 754 or brussels airways 754 when they uh, address themselves to you Now we come to the most important part of filing a flight plan to VETSIM. It's actually the route details. Here in this text uh, box, we have to enter the waypoints of our route. And I'm going to show you how you can uh, use these that we planned in Navigraph. So going back to Navigraph, we see that I have planned a flight from Manchester to Amsterdam with a uh, departure SID that is denoted by Delta Echo Sierra India 1 Sierra uh, and uh, in Amsterdam a star that is uh, denoted by Lima Alpha Mike Sierra 2A. Uh, how do you import this into your uh, pre-file uh, form of VETSIM? Well, simply go to export and copy to clipboard. Now, going back to uh, the VETSIM pre-file uh, page, you can actually simply paste your route here. But we still have to adapt uh, some things because special characters like this dash here are not allowed. So what we will do is actually remove the first part, which is the airport of Manchester and the runway and then we have as a first waypoint actually the transition point of our star which is Delta Echo Sierra India 1S and then there will be the transition point after the first star which is Dizik and the next waypoints all the way to Amsterdam and as you see we can remove again the code for Amsterdam and maintain the star ID, which is Sierra Uniform Golf Oscar Lima. This is a valid uh, route. All we have to do now is file the plan by clicking on this button. And you will see the flight plan was filed. Enjoy your flight. Now, as I said earlier, we want also to have our flight plan in the flight computer, in the MCDU of our Airbus cockpit. So we will not only uh, file the flight plan as I just showed on the VETSIM uh, pre-file uh, form, but we will also export our flight plan to Microsoft. So I click on export, select Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and save it somewhere on disk. Uh, actually, it has here the name that is a concatenation of the airport uh, ICAO codes and we can just save it to disk and we will open this file, load this file from Microsoft Flight Simulator in the next step. So here we are with a view on the world map of 
Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. What we want to do next is load our flight plan from Navigraph. Simply click on More down here, Load, Load from this PC, and browse to the location where you just saved the flight plan that you exported from Navigraph, which is this file here. I click on Open, and after a small second, the flight plan loads on the world map. On top you can see that we leave from Manchester, that our SID is Dizig, we have several waypoints, and all the waypoints up to uh, Amsterdam are actually uh, shown uh, on top. Now, for vPilot to work and for us to speak to ATC, it is important that we are not on a runway, as we can see here, but that we are at the gate or a ramp, a parking stand at Manchester. Intuitively, you would zoom into Manchester and then select a uh, ramp, a parking, click on it and set it as departure. But do not do that, because if you do that, Microsoft Flight Simulator will just simply recalculate the complete route and we will lose our route as we planned in Navigraph and as we filed to VATSIM. So what you want to do is go to the drop-down and select a gate or a parking from the drop-down. For this uh, example, I will choose parking uh, 5 and as you see, uh, we still have our star here and still have the same waypoints so uh, this is okay we are parked at the gate we can tune into VATSIM and we can just click fly to go to the cockpit so here we are in the cockpit of our Airbus A320 uh, NEO uh, at gate uh, 5 of uh, Manchester Airport. Uh, now uh, I want to show you that we actually have a flight plan in our MCDU as we loaded it uh, from Navigraph. If I go to flight plan you can see that uh, we have the star Dizig and we can browse through it all the way to uh, Amsterdam. So the flight plan is okay, is loaded in our uh, cockpit. Also, if you have Navigraph in-game panel and you open Navigraph charts, it will ask you to load uh, the flight plan uh, that we just uh, created in Navigraph. And you will see that actually the flight plan is nicely uh, depicted here on the map with even the little indicator where our airplane is uh, on the uh, gate 5 of Manchester Airport. Now we are going to use VPilot to talk to ATC. But before we can do that, we have to make sure that uh, the ATC that comes with Microsoft Flight Simulator, the artificial intelligence ATC, is turned off. So going to custom toolbar you want to turn off ATC here. Also, you want to go to Flight Assistant and turn off ATC, Artificial Intelligence Radio Communications. Another setting that you want to apply is uh, as VPilot is going to insert the other aircrafts or the airports into the game, you will see actually land airport, uh, airplanes, the other airplanes that are on VATSIM. You will see other airplanes on the gate. So to make sure that this doesn't interfere with Microsoft Flight Simulator, hit escape, go to general options, go to traffic and make sure that air, uh, artificial intelligence traffic is set to off, multiplayer is set to off and show multiplayer aircraft in close proximity is set to off and then you can go back and actually uh, pop up uh, vpilot where we will connect to uh, VATSIM ATC now. 
So now we are simply going to connect to VETSIM. Bring up VPILOT and click on Connect. Make sure your call sign is here so that ATC knows how to call you when they want to talk to you and your aircraft type code and click on connect. We'll see connected to voice server and the frequencies start to pop up. For instance 131.800 is the frequency for center which is actually the ATC for the airspace above Manchester. Approach departure is for flying stars and sits. Tower is for runway operations. Ground is for taxiing. And clearance delivery is for asking IFR clearance. We have all the frequencies here and can tune into them. So now let's go for the fun part. Let's for instance tune in to clearance delivery or to ground. Let's uh, tune in to 121850. If you go to your VHF uh, radios station and uh, let me verify what was the frequency the fre frequency of ground is 121850 so we tune into 121 850 click on this button Manchester Ground, good morning, Easy 14 Tango Mike, stand 8, ready for push and start. And as you can hear, we hear a real human voice of an ATC operator talking on the radio. So, uh, to give an example of transmitting with the push to talk button, I have uh, tuned into frequency 121700, 121700 which is clearance delivery and I will do a transmission. I will push my button and with the official phraseology I'm going to say Manchester clearance Brussels Airlines 754 radio check Happy line 754 delivery hello to the delivery five Here you go I immediately answered so uh, V-Pilot and VETSIM is very nice if you want to tune in on the gate and uh, just listen to a frequency, learn how a phraseology works and what happens at the airport. Uh, thank you for watching my video and uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Thank you, bye bye.